In this video, we are going to be discussing the fourth part of uh, simple equations, looking at multiplication and division. If this is one you are stumbling upon, we have discussed coefficient and variable, like terms and unlike terms, and how to deal with uh, like terms and their coefficient variables. So in this set, we'll be looking at multiplication and division. And before I forget, we have also discussed addition and subtraction of simple equation. So in this set, we'll be looking at multiplication and division of a simple equation. So as you can see, our goal is to apply all the concepts that we have been discussing in isolation. And this will take us to the next level, looking at uh, this set of uh, examples. So in this video series, I have, in the first part, I have six examples that I would like to show you. So let's quickly begin. So we start with the first one, which is a 5x plus 8 equals to 3. So we have 5x plus 8 equals to 3. Our goal is to determine the value of x. So looking at it, we are interested in isolating this coefficient plus 8 and taking it to the other side. Remember in the previous video, I told you to take it across the equality sign and then the sign would change. But how do we do it mathematically to be able to make sense out of that action? The best thing we we'll say is that since we have plus 8, we are going to say subtract 8 from both sides. So this way, the a to be eliminated on the left hand side. So we have 5x plus 8 minus 8 equals to 3 minus 8. And if we take 8 away from 8, it will become 0. So if we have plus 3 and minus 5, that uh, plus minus 8, that will give us minus 5. So that way, we have 5x is equals to minus 5. Now, we have a coefficient and a variable, and we want to determine the value of that variable. What do we do? The coefficient standing by that variable, which is 5, will be used to divide both sides. So please pay attention to this because we are going to repeat these exercises continuously in these next three videos. So we have divide both sides by 5. So this now gives us 5x over 5 and minus 5 over 5. Therefore, x equals minus 1. So that is how we determine the value of x in this instance. So please don't forget the two action because you have plus 8 on this side and we want to eliminate it. We subtract 8 from both sides. And to determine the value of the variable with the coefficient 5, we use that coefficient with the variable to divide both sides. So if you remember those few concepts I just shared with you, let's see how we apply it in second example. 6x minus 1 equals to minus 9. Now we want the coefficient and variable to stand alone and we want to take that minus 1 to the other side. What do we do? Remember this is minus. What we are going to say to eliminate is we are going to say add 1 to both sides. So we are going to add 1 to both sides so that uh, we are going to turn to 6x minus 1 plus 1 and minus 9 plus 1 whereby 6x minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 and here we are saying you are owing $9 and you have $1 so if you pay $1 out of the 9 you are owing your debt still remain minus 8 so now I need help here I want to determine the value of this variable x. What do we do? We are going to use the coefficient that is standing by that number, by that variable. 
So we say divide both sides by 6. So this will become 6x over 6 equals to minus 8 over 6. So that way, the 6 here will cancel out and give us the value of x. And we'll be left with a minus 8 over 6. So 6 will go in 8 once and we'll be left with 2 remainder 2 over 6. And this will be minus 1, 1 over 3. And that should be our answer. Now we'll go to the third question. I mean, third example. We have 4x plus 3 equals 5. If you have a good handle of it and you understand it, you can pause the video and try this question number 3 to see what your final answer will be. And then when you unpause, you'll be able to see how we solve it. So let's try this one now. We have 4x plus 3. Looking at plus 3 on this side, how do we remove it from this side? It is plus 3. What do we need to do? We're going to say subtract 3 from both sides. So this would be 4x plus 3 minus 3 equals to 5 minus 3. And this would be 4x. 5 minus 3 will give us 2. Now, what do we do to determine the value of the variable? We are going to divide both sides by 4. So that will give us 4x over 4 and 2 over 4. Now, this 4 we cancel out, giving us the value of x. And we are going to have 1 over 2. Do you have the answer? Good job. Now, let's see a different scenario in question 4. Whereby we have 6x minus 2 equals to 4x minus 1. In this case, what you want to accomplish is to determine the value of x. But the first thing that needs to happen is that we need to collect the like terms. And how do we collect the like terms? We can collect the like terms by bringing the x, 4x and 6x together. So let's see how we do it. We will say collect the like terms. The like terms. And we are going to subtract 4x from both sides. So that way, on the right hand side, 4x will become 0. So we are going to have 6x minus 2 minus 4x and 4x minus 4x minus 1. So with that statement we've made, it helps us to eliminate and move 4x to the left hand side of the screen so that we can actually achieve collection of the like term. So we have 6x minus 4x minus 2 equals minus 1. And 6x minus 4x will become 2x minus 2 equals minus 1. Now, this one looks similar to what you are familiar with because of question 1 to 3 that we just solved. So what do we do now to move this minus 2 to the other side and turn it to 0 on the left hand side? We can just say add 2 to both sides. So adding 2 to both sides will be 2x minus 2 plus 2 equals to minus 1 plus 2. So 2x because minus 2 plus 2 will become 0. So minus 1 plus 2 will give us plus 1. Now we conclude by saying divide both sides by 2 because the coefficient standing by the side of the variable is 2. 
so this we have 2x over 2 and 1 over 2 so that way these two we cancel out and our final answer will be 1 over 2 so you can see very straightforward collect the like terms and then we determine the value of the variable and we have our final answer so let's take question number five in view of our time so this will be question x example number five so we have 7x plus 1 equals to 5x plus 1. So we can follow the same example we did in number 4 by collecting the like terms and moving 5 on the left hand on the right hand side to the left hand side. So I will just say the same thing. Collect the like terms and then subtract because this currently 5x is plus now subtract 5x from both sides so this help us to straighten things out from the outset so I will just go straight and say 7x minus 5x plus 1 equals to 5x minus 5x plus 1 so if we take 5x plus 7x it will give us 2x plus 1 and that will be equals to 1 because 5x minus 5x will be equals to 0 now we are in the same place where we were with question 1 to 3 what do we say here we are going to subtract 1 from both sides do you know why we are subtracting 1 from both sides? Because of this plus 1. So we want to move it to the other side. So this will be 2x plus 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1. So 2x equals to 0. Now you don't want to stop there and say we, don't, we can't move forward. In mathematics, you want to take it to the final line. So we say divide both sides by what 2 because that is the coefficient standing by the variable so we have 2x over 2 and 0 over 2 so the 2 cancel out to give us x and 0 divided by 2 will be equals to 0 these are usually the common question that you see on multiple choice test on mathematics and sometimes for a level where you're just going from pre-algebra to algebra they might want to test because you become you be wondering oh it's now zero oh i think i'm doing something wrong no you are not you are right on time and you're on task one minus one is zero so let's take the last one which is a question number six and that is a five x plus six equals to 2x minus 3 we're still going to follow the same procedure here we're going to collect the like terms so if we collect the like terms I want to eliminate 2x on the right hand side and by saying uh, subtract 2x from both sides so that will give us 5x minus 2x plus 6 and 2x minus 2x minus 3 this will be 3x plus 6 equals to minus 3 so now you can see what actually happens we can say subtract 6 from both sides so that way we're going to have 3x is equals to minus 3 minus 6 and 3x will be equals to minus 9 it's as if we are saying you are owing three dollars and you're also owing six dollars your total debt will be minus six so what do we say next 
we'll say divide both sides by the coefficient standing by the variable which is 3 so we have 3x over 3 and minus 9 over 3 and if we cancel out we're going to have x and our final answer will be minus 3 so please take time to go over the video one more time to understand how we solve this simple equation applying our skill of coefficients a variable and multiplying and dividing them thank you very much for watching